In this video, we'll explore some of the latest and greatest mods that will enhance your Fallout 4 experience. From gameplay tweaks to stunning visual improvements, we've got it all covered. But before we dive into the mods, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and ring that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content now. Let's get started. First of all, let's dive into some noteworthy gameplay-related mods recently featured on Test Nexus. First up is Let Me Use That. This mod eliminates the hassle of having to pick up items and enter the inventory to use them. With this mod installed, you can use items like food or medicine directly. When you hover over an item, you'll have the option to use it without the need to pick it up first. It works seamlessly with immersive animations, allowing you to enjoy a Nuka-Cola without toggling your Pip-Boy. Next, let's introduce Let Me Toss That. This mod provides a feature that lets you immediately discard the last item you looted. You can set the toss key in the MCM menu, and when you press it, you'll drop up to the last five items you picked up. It's a convenient time saver, allowing you to quickly get rid of items you accidentally looted. Thirdly, let's delve into We Have Names All in One. This mod assigns names and various attributes to over 250 NPCs in the game. For instance, using this mod, NPCs originally referred to as Settler, Resident, Drifter, and so on, will each have unique names. Additionally, NPC heights are diversified to reflect real-world diversity. Furthermore, this mod enhances the functionality of some settlers. For example, settlers found at locations like Somerville Place, County Crossing, Nordhagen Beach, and others can be relocated to different settlements. These mods infuse life and diversity into the world of Fallout 4, providing a more engaging and fascinating interaction with NPCs. If you're seeking to enrich your Fallout 4 experience, give these mods a try. Next, let's introduce some mods related to the SKSE plugin. Firstly, there's Slick Fingers, The Art of Theft, Slick Fingers. The Art of Theft provides a new way to earn experience points through thievery and pickpocketing. Master the art of stealth in a post-apocalyptic world and embark on an engaging and immersive adventure. Thievery yields more experience points than pickpocketing, but be cautious because if you're caught in the act, you won't earn any experience points. Become a skilled thief in a world full of risks and opportunities, gathering experience and wealth. Moving on, let's explore the Garden of Eden Papyrus Script Extender. The Garden of Eden Papyrus script extender adds over 280 new functions to Papyrus, aiding mod creators in crafting more diverse and creative mods. It enables the use of functions like Get Magic Effects or Get Magic Effect Target, functions that were present in Skyrim but were missing in Fallout 4. While my knowledge of scripting functions is limited, this plugin appears to be a valuable resource for those interested in development. If you're keen on modding, it's worth checking out for sure. Next, let's introduce some mods related to rifles. Firstly, there's the Hungarian AK Pack. The Hungarian AK Pack adds Hungarian military rifles, the AKM 63, and AMD 65 to the Commonwealth. While it doesn't offer an extensive range of customization options, the overall gun's firing sound and animations are quite impressive. This mod doesn't add the weapons to level lists, allowing you to craft them at a workbench for 1,000 caps each. And it optionally provides a tactical reload patch. Moving on, we have the Type 97. This firearm is based on the FAMAS, but is actually modeled after China's QBZ-97 assault rifle. It allows for the attachment of various accessories and optics. Overall, it closely replicates the FAMAS field, making it a satisfying choice for players who prefer the FAMAS. Thirdly, we have the MK-18 Armory Project 3. This mod adds various components to the HyperX MK-18 CQBR weapon, particularly emphasizing the addition of high magnification scopes in this series. Additionally, it includes a range of customization options, such as laser sights, barrels, and more. If you're a fan of the MK-18 and have been using the Armory Project, make sure to add the third series to your mod list. In a previous video, I introduced detailed guidance on perfectly modding the MK-18 is provided, so feel free to refer to it for additional insights. Fourthly, we have the Sig Sauer MPX animations. 
This mod adds new first-person animations to the Sig Sauer MPX Genern 2 SMG mod, created by Etayesi. It notably enhances the overall smoothness of the reload animations. Check it out in the video, and if you like what you see, be sure to give it a try. I'll include the link in the YouTube video description for your convenience. Let me introduce you to two outfit mods this time. I think you'll like them. First, we have the Vita Gothic dress. It's a black dress, and you'll especially appreciate the stocking design on the hands and legs. It features a high heel height, creating the illusion of longer legs. However, it's worth noting that, unlike Skyrim, the skirt physics in Fallout don't work as smoothly, and this outfit doesn't offer color customization options. Nevertheless, being a creation by the talented outfit designer Vita, I'm sure you'll find this outfit satisfying to use. You can craft it at the chem station under Vita Gothic Dress or use the in-game ESP Explorer for an easy and fast way to obtain all the items. The second one is the University Uniforms. The University Uniforms mod adds University Uniforms to the game. The t-shirt is white and the skirt is black, creating a clean and stylish outfit. There are two types of skirts to choose from. You can craft these uniforms at the chemistry workbench and even change their colors at an armor workbench. This time, I've brought a few mods related to visuals that I believe you'll like. Firstly, there's Fallout Texture Overhaul Bricks. Fallout Texture Overhaul Bricks is a mod that enhances brick textures to high definition 8K, 4K, or 2K quality. It meticulously and realistically recreates all the bricks on buildings and interiors. Additionally, it applies ambient occlusion, AO, to create more natural looking shadows and supports complex parallax for added depth. Next, we have Oppressor's Metal Barrel Replacer. This mod replaces the models and textures of barrels in the game with new ones. It excellently captures the rusty texture of the barrels and maintains high quality throughout. Lastly, Oppressor's Alarm Clock Replacer is the third mod. This mod changes the appearance and textures of the in-game alarm clocks to something new. It replaces them with square-shaped clocks in black and light sky blue, featuring excellent texture work. The clocks even have a weathered look inside, enhancing immersion. Take this opportunity to upgrade the textures in your commonwealth to a higher quality. There you have it, folks. Another epic journey through the commonwealth with some incredible mods. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow vault dwellers. And if you want more mod showcases and gaming content, make sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications. Thanks for joining us today. And until next time, keep exploring the wasteland and may your mods be ever stable. See you in the next one.